Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join a Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. Shout out to Divinity Code for winning the last episode's giveaway. Make sure to message me in game or through Discord in order to claim your prize. Okay, so I will admit I did get a little bit distracted by Nax yesterday and I did not get my raids done, which is the one thing I wanted to do in the last episode. But don't worry, I will be getting the last three hard raids done at the beginning of this video. I'm not even going to allow myself to go look at the new weekly and daily challenges, so I'm just going to sit here and do my raids. And the issue is not only that Nax was a big distraction because I did go there and I got a a bunch of drops from next I got two so not technically a bunch but I made a bunch of money from next and I got pretty excited about that and sort of forgot about the raids until it was too late also earlier on in the video when I was trying to do the raids I had a pretty hard time finding a team and I kind of wasted time just sitting around doing nothing so I'm jumping into a quick solo I will reach out to people if I need to throughout this video if I just have like a really hard time in the solos but I'm not wasting any time I'm getting straight to it because I've been known to put off these raid completions a little bit and as a solo this has to be like the easiest room ever you just have to use four stones on the pillars it's so easy there's barely any spiders as well so you hardly run through any supplies like a month ago i said this before when i was doing my easy raids during the adventure path but solos are so much more relaxing they just take like an extra five minutes dude again i get stunned while running to a marker i don't understand how am i supposed to make it there I get stunned every single time. Anyways, I'm too good at this game, so I still got the kill, which means only two more hard raids to go, and then I'm done with the adventure path. And let's go ahead and get a really nice chaotic rapier drop. nothing so i'm gonna bank my rune pouch and bring one more brew with me because i just i really don't need the rune pouch even with the spider cave like i barely get hit with that at all and even if i do it's not like i'm killing the spiders i mean i might as well just bank that and continue doing solos because they're just so much more relaxing they're a little bit more difficult and they take more time but it's just so much easier when it comes to all the mechanics i mean whenever i come here with a duo one of us gets cursed and we end up killing the other in the final room anyways so it's, it just seems kind of pointless unless you have a really good duo with you in this first room here you don't even have to worry about the portal spawns in the ground you can just use soul split to heal back up every time you take damage so it's so much more relaxing in a lot of ways because if you're in a duo or a trio then you have to go onto those markers because if no one does then you're just going to get stacked out because the damage scales with the party i'm pretty sure but when you're solo it's only 750 so you can just tank the 750 and heal up with soul split oh i forgot that i can actually take damage here that was close. All right, back to the boss room again. Hopefully no bullshit happens like before where I just get stunned and marked at the same time or stunned and the lightning strike comes in or even stunned and a marker spawns in because no matter what, I can't really do anything besides eat up and just pray at that point. I guess a good play when I'm cursed is not to just get off of the boss, but also run around just in case I get marked or something as well at the same time. I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry. But anyways, another completion down. That's two in a row, just one more raid to go. And then I'm done with the adventure path. How many times am I gonna say that? Probably more i don't know how many but more a 17 minute completion right there i might not be doing them very quickly but at least i'm not getting killed by my teammate and at least there's not a million spiders in the third room no good drops with this key but i think i have one more run to do so i will get a drop in the next run it's just gonna happen i know it is okay so about halfway done with the final raid here or at least i hope it's the final raid because if i die then i'll have to do another one so i don't want to waste my time or anything like that so hopefully this is the final raid okay wish me luck here we go final boss fight hopefully for the hard raids and then everything will be completed and i'll have infinite freedom to do whatever i want oh fuck oh no that's the worst part of it 15 minutes gone okay let's try this again one more attempt and then if i fail on this one i'm definitely getting someone to carry me through it because i don't want to keep just coming back here and dying and wasting my time especially when i'm very confident that i know all the mechanics it's just that i get screwed sometimes man i get very unlucky with the situations that happen of course other times i do mess up myself but i mean most of the time it ain't really my fault it's just unpredictables that are happening Oh no, thank god. As soon as my chaotic maul was coming down for the hit, I got cursed again, and I should have died, but luckily I didn't hit very hard. That's exactly what happened last time. In the middle of my attack, I actually got cursed, and there was just nothing I can do. There's no avoiding it.
All right, thank God it is done. I don't have to come back here for a while. Yeah, I will come back and do solos, but not until I get better pet perks and gear. And outside of that, I'll be coming back with teams as well. But I mean, I'm not forced to do this anymore when I don't want to. So that's great because it's a little bit difficult and stressful. Okay, now give me a spoon right here. I know it's ridiculous to expect an item within only six hard raids, but just give me some spoonage. You know, I, I never get lucky on this account. So let's try to get lucky right now. Bro, I swear I never get lucky. I've never gotten a good drop on this account. But anyways, I am done with the adventure path. Let's go ahead and claim the final reward of 30 mil cash and 25 achievement points. And I have completed the achievement adventure path. And for completing that achievement, I get 10 mil cash as well. So 40 mil cash and 25 achievement points to end things off. It has been a very long grind. This is the 50th episode as well. So it's taken me 50 episodes just to finish the adventure path. And I've pretty much focused on it every single episode. Of course, every now and then I would take a little bit of a break and focus on getting some achievement points or maybe doing like a next mask like yesterday but I mean for the most part every single episode has been centered around the achievement path or the adventure path I mean in one way or another but yeah it's finally done and every single quest is finally completed the good lord that took forever I kind of feel like I'm forgetting something because yesterday I was supposed to end up getting like around 80 achievement points but I cut things short so I didn't get it all done I know I was getting 25 achievement points from the adventure path completion and also I was supposed to be getting 15 AP from the corp mass that I went to and then eight achievement points from the Cerberus task I was going to do but that only leaves me with 48 so what was it that I was supposed to be doing to get more achievement points I can't even remember maybe it was something that I gained earlier just like passively where I got a bunch of AP but there was something that I was supposed to be doing I think but anyways I have new weekly task that I can do killing necromancer 78 times will be something I definitely do also killing the skeletal so horror 156 times can be something I work towards but I've never done that before so I'm not sure how long it's going to take to do that so it might be worth it or it might not be worth it. Killing the black dragon within 40 seconds six times is going to be easy and the cow fight queen I'll probably skip that one. I'm not going to do that one. And of course I can do all of these miscellaneous and mini game tasks as well. There's not too many that I'll refuse to do maybe like two or three here or there. At some point I can go back to TOL with the team and get three more completions for an extra eight achievement points as well. I can also do 84 Cyclops kills in the Warriors Guild. And for the miscellaneous task, I'm probably just going to end up doing the World Boss and Battle Pass experience ones. And a lot of daily tasks will overlap with those weeklies as well. So there's always plenty of AP to get during these weekly resets. And yes, I'm being crazy right now and I'm teleporting to the wilderness, pretty deep wilderness as well. I mean, and not too risky because I can just escape through KBD's lair, but I could lose some of my Inquisitor's armor here if I did die to a PK. -er. So yeah, I'm just a risky man, I guess just risking everything because there's a 15 tile run I have to do. Of course, I forgot to bring my anti-poison, but that's okay. I only need to do six kills here, so I can probably just tank the poison effects that come in every now and then, especially since these will be super quick kills with this setup. What was this? A 20 second kill and I hit zeros like three or four times. Yeah, that was a much better kill right there, and that only took, what was it, 13 seconds? Yeah, much better. Okay, that took about five minutes. Let's go ahead and teleport home and try to figure out another way to make a bunch of AP in this episode. Next up, I'm going to be doing about 75 Necromancer kills, which takes only about an hour as long as I don't get attacked by any PKers or I don't have to bank for any reason, and it's pretty AFKable, so this is right up my alley. Not too long of a grind, and it's almost fully AFKable. Wait, am I not allowed to drink an overload in the wilderness? I didn't even realize that, but whatever. Isn't it crazy how skill tickets are now only 15 GP each? Most of you know because you watch the series, but when I first started, one of my biggest money makers early on was just AFK thieving because I was able to sell those tickets for like 50 to 75 GP each. And I literally, I probably made like half a bill just doing AFK thieving. It was so nice. Now you probably will have noticed that I haven't been thieving very much anymore. And that's just because the skill tickets are so cheap now that I just, I don't really see a reason to do it. Plus I'm already prestige 10 at 99 thieving 200 
200 mil thieving as well. So, I mean, it, there's no reason to do it at all. There's just no reason. And once I do finish these kills, I will be at 250 achievement points because I'm getting 16 from this task and the last task. So I will be at 250 and I will be able to buy a pet perk. And the only one I could do is either upgrade my fighter's fury for that amount or get fast hands. So I wonder which one I'm going to do. Oh my God. It's like a little mystery. I'm sure you're all so curious. There's a ring of the gods drop right there. I don't even think I'm going to bank for it. How does this affect my death drop log? Yeah, I will lose it if I die, but I don't even care. Someone can come PK me right now. I'll keep all my good stuff, and I'm not going to bank for a 5 mil drop. So it's nice to get a drop, but not really a good one, you know? Another drop there, a Malediction Ward coming in at 229kc. I will not be banking as long as I don't lose anything crazy here, and I'll just lose the Ring of the Gods and the Malediction Ward if I am PK'd, so I'm staying here. I am not banking. And that is 78 Necromancer kills done, so the weekly task is finished. I think we could do one more, but I want to do a couple things before that let's go ahead and claim these rewards and redeem my 16 achievement points and also use up the 14 keys that i have there but more importantly i do have 250 achievement points now so what i could do is upgrade my fighter's fury because as you know i've uh, i'm a pretty big advocate of getting your accuracy and damage up before unlocking fast hands but at this point my gear and fighter's fury is good enough to where i'm not really hitting too many zeros and i'm doing solid damage as well so fast hands will be unlocked now this time I think getting two tiers of Fighter's Fury is always a very good starting point, but now again, I'm hitting consistently, I'm doing good damage, so now I just need to increase my actual attack speed, and that should be a very good combination, and there we go, Fast Hands is unlocked. This is a very good combination for any sort of PVM-related stuff, but mainly for next, because even though I'm going to be doing a lot of masses for next, I'm going to be doing some solo kills and some small teams as well, so this is just a really good option. If I didn't have the second tier of Fighter's Fury, I would have gotten that second tier, but now that I'm at two out of five, I think it's fine to just get the fast hands and then start focusing on fighter's fury and melee striker afterwards so now i have a pretty solid pet perk let out for every combat style except for magic so that is what i'm going to start focusing on in the future because i will inevitably have to use magic at some point it's just that i can kind of avoid that right now with all the content that i'm doing i don't necessarily have to use magic so i've just put that off a little bit but now it's time to start working back towards getting a solid loadout for that okay so i've never killed this skeletal horror before and i've never even looked at the mechanics on on the wiki so I don't really know what to expect I'm just doing a quick test kill here with protect from Melion. and if I can kill this quick enough then I will do that one task wow oh wait a minute there is mechanics okay what is this guy doing do I gotta pick it up come here buddy got it all right, I really don't know what's going on here, but basically the whole point is that I'm considering doing the uh, weekly task for this guy. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to chase this bitch down, though. I mean, I don't even know if I have to go grab that thing. I'll look at the guide. Okay, so it looks like this is very simple and similar to Necromancer where I just go in, I overload and put on Soul Split and Turmoil and just kind of AFK the boss. So I got all my pet perks on and I get to experience the Elder Chaotic Mall at a new level, let's say. And I can also AFK this boss. It's a little bit harder to kill than Necromancer just because it has more health. So it will be like a 50 second kill each time. So it's not going to be as quick. And I think I need to do like 150 kills or something like that. So it will not be a very quick grind. I'll probably just get like halfway or maybe like a third of the way there and then just call it quits for the day and come back at a different time but since it is afk able and i don't really need to pay too much attention i might as well just sit here and afk some kills got skeletal boots okay cool but anyways those little hands and arms that spawn off and break out they actually heal the skeletal horror for like 200 health every now and then but i'm able to just out dps the health that it's being generated so yeah it's fully afk able just keep your prayer up and you're good And it doesn't really look like there's anything too good to get from this boss. I did already get a Ram Skull Helm and these Skeleton Boots. So it looks like maybe just a little bit of Fashionscape. The pet does look really cool though. I can't lie, that pet looks really cool. And you can also get a Bone Crusher, but I think you can get that from somewhere else too. Either way, just completing this collection log gets you a $5 bond and 5 mil cash. So that is something you can work towards. But I'm mainly just here for the achievement points from the weekly task and also the passive achievements that I will complete for even more achievement points. 
So I guess now is a pretty good time to just sit back and talk about the future of this series because the brawler adventure path is done and that doesn't necessarily mean the series is over. I'm still going to continue along the path of just leveling up all my pet perks and trying to get the best gear and weapons. I've mentioned plenty of times in the recent episodes that I will be doing a bunch of necks and even going back to do some hard raids every now and then. But my main focus is just going to be achievement point grinding as I'm doing right now. But right now is like the perfect time to start getting advice from absolutely everyone as to what kind of path I should take outside of Nex and the AP grind. That would definitely be appreciated. I feel like the path that I'm on right now is a pretty solid path. There's nothing really too wrong about it. I'm sure there's something better out there, but I feel like what I'm doing right now is all right. But again, just in case there's any sort of advice you'd like to give me that could help me out a lot, I would definitely appreciate that. And you could just leave it in the comments below. It looks like the drop rates are pretty common for this as well. I've already gotten several items from this. I think five or six already. Let's actually just check the collection log and take a look. Okay, so a few of these aren't actually in the the collection log but I've still gotten a couple of cool things you know it's all fashion scapes so it's nothing that I can sell or whatever but you know what stuff is stuff and stuff is cool nice another passive daily task completed of earning some battle pass experience I should probably only get like two or four achievement points but it's still good to have that anyways there's nothing really too interesting left to talk about like I said I'm just kind of afking this here so I will end this here I'll, I'll go ahead and get a couple more kills off screen but I mean there's no drops that I can possibly get so I'm not gonna sit here and bore you all with me just afking here and rambling endlessly next upload's gonna be a hardcore Iron Man episode hopefully I do get my amulet of the damned in there but uh yeah that's it. See ya.